Hi, my name is Dr. Russell Betts, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 Lab instructional videos. Today's experiment is experiment 8, entitled Acids, Bases, and Buffers. It's a two-part lab. The first part of this lab, you'll be experimenting with pH. Now, pH is a way of measuring the concentration of acid in a solution. Now, acid, according to Arrhenius, is anything that will generate H plus ions in water. So pH is a way of measuring that. pH is defined to be the negative log of the concentration of H+. It is a scale that goes from 1 to 14, with 7 being neutral. So if you have a solution that is pH 7, it will neither be acidic or basic, it is neutral. Anything below pH 7 is considered to be acidic. Anything above pH 7 is considered to be basic. Now, a basic solution is a solution that has OH minus ions in it. OH minus is also called hydroxide. According to Arrhenius, any base is a molecule that can generate OH minus ions in water. Now, part two of this lab, we'll be doing some experimentation with uh, adding acid to water, base to water, acid to base, and acid and base to buffers. What you should see is when you add acid to water, you should see a dramatic pH change. When you add base to water, you should also see a dramatic pH change. But when you add it to buffer, you shouldn't see much of a change at all. Now, today's lab is really interesting. We're going to be doing a lot of cool color change tests using pH paper. And I'll let my friend Dione Antigua explain that to you. Hi, my name is Dione Antigua, and I'm a laboratory technician at Bard College North Campus. And today you will be testing the pH of various solutions using pH paper. pH paper is a color test. You will be dipping a strip into said solution to test for pH. In this example, we have two setups. One test tube containing hydrochloric acid, also known as HCl, and another test tube containing sodium hydroxide, known as NaOH. You will, using a pipette, you will fill a well that was previously labeled HCl on your spot plate. Then you will take one strip of pH paper and dipping it into the solution. Notice how the pH paper changes color. You will then match this color on the back of the pH container using the color chart. In this case, we can see the HDL has a pH of approximately 2. You will then test another solution, in this case sodium hydroxide, by filling up a pipette from your test tube, filling the well, previously labeled sodium hydroxide. You will then take another piece of pH paper and dip it in the solution containing some hydroxide. You will then compare the colors and try to match the pH on the back of the pH container. In this case, we can see that sodium hydroxide has a pH of approximately 11. 